with another video and this morning i want to talk about a free and fair market uh i'm gonna be sharing my screen i was just over there let's see we'll go ahead and catch an update real quick on tabs uh weeble all right there's the weeble chart we this was closing we went down we went back up to 1670 they, they pushed back down the volume is relatively low this candle's only nine this one's 162 but again it's pre-market so you're not getting too much uh action here except for like right here 32 13,000 there 8,000 there <sighs> looks like it's just gonna be another week looking on the daily for AMC we got big red candle down. That's the big fuck you candle, I guess. It looks like we're heading back down to 1548. Here, I'm watching AC Biggums, massive regulations coming out that could set this off finally. System. What he's talking about in this video is the SCC's proposed rules all right and he specifically points out this one short position and short interest reporting by institutional investment managers notice of proposed amendments to the national market system plan governing the consolidated audit trail for purposes of short sale related <laughs> what a mouthful but anyway i've got the link down below in the description you'll look for this one right here it starts with short positions and short activity all right you notice that it's comments are due 30 days after the publication of the federal register or april 26th all right and right below that you see submit comments if you suppress submit comments it'll take you to the comments page and i have already written my comment that i'm going to file concerning this proposed bill and it says i would like to personally take the time to say thank you and your office for proposing S7-08-22, which includes the reporting of short positions and short activity by institutional investment managers. A long time coming, I believe this proposal, once listed in the Federal Register, will help bring clarity and transparency to the market as you hope. Good luck and retail stands behind you in your endeavors to reestablish a fee and fair market for all. Now, as soon as this video is over with, I'll fill out the information here and I'll send my comment on in. Also, working this morning, uh, Massalorian was supposed to get together with a thumbnail. I'm doing the best I can. I'm not very good at this. Uh, I'm more elementary than a professional like he is with Canva or making thumbnails and stuff. But I'm trying to put together the town hall meeting now. I want to try to set it for April 9th. All right, which is a couple of days before another regulation is supposed to go into effect, which is going to be April 11th for NSCC 2120-10. So we'll be going live on a AMC town hall meeting on my YouTube channel for shareholders to get together, and we're going to present an evidence that what ftds are doing to our share price and we're going to attempt to uncover rather naked short sales actually exist and what we can do about it so we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna be making the capture page and everything for it where you can get on the list and you will get notification when we get started and you can be there we're trying to get adam Aaron in there uh jackson hunter's already agreed that he will do a 20-minute presentation on the ftds for us so we're looking forward to that i'm going to be trying to get in touch with rico and see what he can add so i'm gonna stop sharing now go back to my studio and see who's talking good morning apes it is early in the morning good morning this is coffee and conversation with common sense in the morning Jerry, what's happening? Mo. 
Yeah, I got coffee. Coffee and sundial in the mornings. How y'all doing? How'd y'all make the weekend? Y'all ready for the morning to start? I'm looking over here at the chart. And we have our normal routine going on with fucking AMC. So what's happening with y'all? You want a croissant? <laughs> what's up, Chris? <laughs> All right, Ramen. Where y'all get some of these damn names from? Synthetic wine pants from Wiz. What the? What does that mean? I love you. I just can't understand what it means. What happened to Tom? <laughs> wine prints. What's up, Justin? I love y'all too. I was just giving an update on uh the proposal that. AC Biggums is promoting that needs to be commented on. So I went over there just a few seconds ago, showed y'all that. It'll be in the live stream. The link will be in the description where you can go and leave your comments. Excited for today, man. What's happening? Y'all think we're going to do anything today or you think it's going to be bullshit again today? I'm voting bullshit. It's Monday. <laughs> Oakland, California. They got people still living in California. I thought everybody moved out of California. Can't afford the gas price. You stuck. Keith, why do you think the market will bleed? Red Bath and Beyond is running. Let me check it real quick. Uh, do, do, do. Short positions. Ooh, shit, it sure is, huh? Let's see who. Ooh. All right, let me share my screen so y'all can see what I'm looking at here. <laughs> in a Chrome window, I want to go to the Weeble chart. Go to Weeble in the mornings for pre market because trading view. Is a little bit behind and, and but I'm looking here. AMC is down 0.43, but here we got CIE, CEI, I mean Cambridge Energy up 42 percent. Look at that. That motherfucker's wanting to run, huh? If I wouldn't be chasing, I'd almost go buy a hundred shares of that right now, but it would be too much of a chase. And they said BB, Bed Bath & Beyond. Look at that. It is. Now, you see that right there? That's perfect. A little quick lesson for y'all. Let's see. I'm over here. That's the daily. Things look good. Let's go 10-minute chart. What's it look like? Oh, gee, it wants to run. All right. Well, then now what I'm going to do is going to go to trading. Let me start. Stick over here, stick my head in here. It says stop sharing. Ooh, Ryan did that. Where the boss blunts at? Crater in the trees. Who's where who's the real boss blunts? I'm thinking me and Boss Blunts need to have a, a duel for that name. <laughs> yes, we're live, darling. You just woke up. I've been up since 10 o'clock last night doing research. <laughs> we're fixing to see. I'm fixing to pull up the BBIG. I just got to pull up the chart. Hold on. I got to go to trading view for this. I got so many different views. Trading view is one of my favorites, though. We'll take a look at trading view. Oh, 
are. Everybody should be signed up for a free account with these so you could use this chart. That's how I started with it. 30 more ads didn't happen. I said, fuck it, $15. But I have it. If it will load, streaming takes a lot of energy, it seems. All right. Compare. In your trading view chart, you go to compare. Oh, this thing runs real slow when you're streaming, huh? <laughs> All right. Bed, bath, and beyond. It ain't showing, well, it ain't showing us this morning's move. Where, where are we at right now? Uh, we will, it's at 2418. Now that motherfucker, did I read that right? Fuck yeah. 30. All right, let's get some understanding here. Let's get a, well, it said a 50% rise, huh? All right, I'm looking now. 24 from here. Something right here. That's a 35% move. Yeah, it's on the move. <laughs> And let's see if we throw AMC. Well, you can't, not until the market opens. Because we're not getting any uh, early feedback. But yeah, let's switch real quick. Back over here. That's what it's going to look like. Don't I tell you people one day you're going to, boom, it's going to be $200. That's what it's going to look like. You're just going to wake up and boom, there it is. We see it right now going on with Bed Bath & Beyond. That is fucking fantastic. If you're holding Bed Bath & Beyond, we love y'all. <laughs> Stop sharing. Yeah, I know. I just got to. I've watched almost all of it. And I had to come live real quick and share with y'all what I was up to this morning. And uh, I went and left the comment for the proposed bill that he's talking about. Listen, people, that is one of your strongest fucking tools right now. You, I did a video called Winners or Whiners. You're going to cry about the situation or you're going to take fucking action. Now, I heard the guy from New York talking about, oh, hi, it wouldn't do any good. Listen, it don't hurt to go and leave a nice comment. Now, I see there's 94 people here. We've been going for almost 15 minutes. So I'm going to share my screen again, and I want to show y'all the proposed bill that Bigums is talking about. Now, I've already talked about one, and we've signed it. We've commented on it. And now Bigums has put out a video, and he says he wants us to go comment on this. So out of love and respect for Bigums, go in the link below. You'll see the description for the Federal Registry. It'll take you to this particular uh proposed rule and then once you click on the comment submit comments it tells you a little bit about the rule you fill out your information just like i did in my other video and there's my comment again so you can pause the video once it's uploaded and you can put it in your own words but you see the direction i'm very respectful i'm telling them thank you for proposing the rule we and what we believe it will accomplish it's as simple as that and then once you fill out this information and click continue you're done in less than five minutes you've let your voice be heard wow hey that's incredible
Love from Germany. Germany, y'all stepped up, dog. Y'all put y'all put a little foot in Putin's ass. I like that. Y'all were the first ones too. See, we talk shit about getting shit done. Y'all didn't open your mouth and then boom, as soon as Russia moved, you said, all right, this is how it's gonna work. So I respect that. Very good point, Marco. Very good point. BBBY is a part of the IWM. So would be with it running, what's going to be the result of the other ones in the IWM? I'm expecting AMC to fucking take off any second, any day now. Uh, I think there's sort of something that, that's holding it back. I hate to say it. People ask me, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. I'm looking for, Bigham said he's looking for this regulation, which comes into effect April 26th. Uh, the one I'm looking for, which is the NSCC clearinghouse where they park their shares and get money from the government to pay us. Think about that for a second. We got 107 people here. Good. Thank you. I appreciate it. If y'all please hit the like button. Think about this for a second. AMC squeezes, just like BB, BBBY doing right now. Shoots up, it's a 200, 500, 700 by the end of the day. All right, 1,000, 2,000, okay? But guess what they don't have? They don't have the money, people. Think about this for just a second. Everybody wants to know, when's the Moaz gonna happen? Man, my son dial is hollering at me. Why you had to go fucking live? <laughs> I could have done this behind the screens and been smoking. But anyway, think about this. If the Moaz happened this morning, where are they going to get the money to pay you? From above, I don't see a problem with that, man. People going to give you shit, but I ain't giving you no shit. I'm holding my AMC, but I'm establishing my position. But let's stay on track. If the MOAS happened this morning, how are they going to pay you? Work with me here. Can anybody tell me that if you, if the MOAS happens today, how they plan on paying a million motherfuckers about a thousand dollars a share? Y'all sidetracked me too. I need to, golly, I got so many notes. I got to write down to keep my train of thought. How are they gonna? Hey, you. Let's answer that question. Liquidation, Eric. By liquidation, what do you mean? Liquidating the little D's, what do you mean by liquidation? I mean, I know what you mean, but tell everybody else what you mean. Let's talk English. <laughs> Who's the ape father? <laughs> From under their mattresses? Yeah, well, Kenny's got five houses. I showed y'all that video that uh John Stewart exposed his ass. So he's got plenty of mattresses. Maybe he's got plenty of money hiding under them. No, Ryman. How? How are they going to pay you? If you owe somebody 200 bucks and they want their $200, how are you going to give them their money? Better be stacks of fucking hundreds, Chris. <laughs> I want stacks of hundreds. Okay, can I give y'all a clue? I'll give you a clue. How are they going to pay you? They only have so much money. Sell off their long positions. Good answer, uh, Ham. They, if they run out of money paying people for the MOAS, they have to sell their long positions generate the liquidity to pay you with chickens at nine hundred dollars uh somebody says and it ain't getting far behind
no, 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 Daniel, y'all, y'all reaching, y'all, y'all going way, way beyond what what we're talking about here. How would if if the squeeze happened today, how would they pay y'all? They've got two billion in cash. Robin Hood's got two billion in cash. Moaz happens, boom, they go through that two billion fast. <laughs> How are they going to pay y'all then? They sell their long position. Eric says, Ham says, all oh, that's right. They would sell their long positions. If that was the case to pay everybody with BB, BY, AMC, GME, Sundial, and all the rest of these motherfuckers, whichever ones are running, they have to sell their long positions to get the cash to pay you. Therefore, that would crash the market. There you go, never selling. As soon as I said it, you typed it. Once they start selling their positions, they're gonna crash the market. Market don't need no help, it's crashing it fucking self. Good morning, Mexican silver back. Now I'm gonna tell y'all what the catalyst is. Because everybody wants to know, what's the catalyst for the Moaz? Listen, they can't pay you until April 11th. What, Frankie who? Frankie, Frankie, my man's in the house? Right. Who's in the house here? Who we got here? Oh, I forgot I could do that. They're going to sell their bodies. <laughs> that sounds like some shit going on in the metaverse that Lou talks about. <laughs> no, sir. Sundial all the way this morning. I have to work with y'all. <laughs> I can't do the Bud Ice thing early. Listen, April 11th, put it on your calendar. You say, what's that? No dates, no dates. I can give you the date of April 11th. Why? Because I know that's when they're going to be able to pay you and to pay me. They can't squeeze until they get the money. And they can't get the money from the government to bail them out until april 11th so really today watching the market and doing the things that we're doing i'm cool with that it's passing my time i'll go over here let's see i'll check lux algo get back to amc real quick share my screen Over here to indicators, invites only, Lux Algo, and AMC at the moment is in a strong downtrend. So you right now is not the time to buy. You say, oh, but it's so cheap. No, but Lux Algo will give you the buy signal. And if you wait for the buy signal, you can have this kind of reaction. And if you wait for a strong sell signal, you know not to buy in these times. That's what luck algo is for. Okay. So we know AMC is in. Oh, I, I was going to check Bed Bath and Beyond for y'all. See what it says. It went to a buy here, which was what? February 24th. So 24, five. February 28th, February, March. You would have held it all the way from here to there. And when the sell signal comes in, you were up 23% or $3.11. Now, you got a choice, though. <laughs> Do you have what it takes 
to ride this motherfucker on out. I would. It could be that it's squeezing. They need some of these squeezes to happen and <laughs> get it behind them. So let's see. Yeah, I like it, Ham. I really do. I'll switch over there. In fact, I can show y'all again. One of the reasons why I like Lux Dalgo is I'm trying to figure out, am I going to buy AMC today or am I going to uh, strengthen my position in Sundial? All right, but here's Shiba Inu. No matter which stock I buy, I'm going to take the change and invest in a little bit more Shiba Inu. Man, look at this. Let's go from here. Okay. In case you don't know, that's called a resistance line. It's it's withstood resistance here, 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 a bunch of times. So it's riding this resistance lines. So if well, that's an old one. I bought a million shares that long ago. Uh, if it breaks above that, it's on the run up. Then this will be a resistance line. And then this resistance line breaks above them. It keeps on going. But round Lux Algo, that's what I was coming over here for, is telling me that I need to wait to buy my shield. Now, see, the way I used to do it, I drop my money in there first thing in the morning, buy my shares. Everything is in the first 30 minutes of trading. But what I've learned to do as I've become a more experienced trader is set rules. And I'll teach you all about setting rules and extra strategies and stuff. But here, this is one of my rules. Once Lux Algo switches from sale to buy, I'll take a look at that. I'll take a look at a few other aspects, and then it'll be the time that I jump in and I get a really good price. Um, a lot of times we buy, we buy way up here only to watch the fucking stock fall. This helps that from not happening. But enough about that. Stop sharing it. Allow one personal question. What kind of accent is this? Don't be angry, but it sounds like Forrest Gump. That's not an insult. It just sounds, I sound like fucking Forrest Gump. Well, the world is a box of chocolates. You can be able to buy a whole lot of box of chocolates. Man, I'm telling you, I, let, I need to switch back over here real quick so we can watch that back and beyond closer. Oh, I need to be on where you going. Ah, damn, it's still going. People, is at 25, 38 right now. Yeah, it's squeezing. <laughs> ah, you got to love it because if they squeeze, that means we're going to squeeze it. AMC is not over. You are waiting on them to be able to pay you. Now, in the meantime, you take proactive steps and you go leave comments and you tell them thank you for, for implementing that proposal and what you think it's going to mean and everything. But what we're really waiting on, and I need to get with Bigums, if Bigums would get with me and tell me which one of these is the NC, NSCC 2021-10 proposal that everybody can go comment on because that's the one you're waiting on. No other restriction. Yeah, I know. I just seen CEIs uh, squeezing. Oxy? I don't, I don't. Check out Oxy. I don't do Oxy. I just say no to drugs. Oxy. O-A-Y is the name of it. Occidental Petroleum. Terralux. Whoo, what? The, oh, that's the oil company. Look at that. Holy shit. Look at that. From 38 to 56. Something in the realm of almost a 50 percent rise an 18 dollar rise oh that's gonna tell you what the price of your gas is fixing to be <laughs> the 
waiting on that to catch up. Let's see what y'all talking about. Y'all talking about me behind my back? I have a Louisiana accent. That's right. I, God's country. Yes. Vince, that is 100% right and 100% my point. You bought two calls two days ago? Or what's the, what is the strike date? I'm Louisiana. Is it? Do I say Lex Algo? I don't realize it if I do. What does it say for Oxy? It's probably going to say sell because Oxy is on such a fucking run. But let's take a look. Lux Algo. <laughs> oh, Lux Algo shows it so y'all can see. Is it don't always give you a sale if it's running? That some bitch is telling you keep buying. It's it says buy 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 buy. <laughs> okay. All right now. Thirty one minutes. Right now, AMC. is down 37 cents in the pre-market. That's the EI. But some of y'all see, some of y'all holding Ape Father is what? Oh, that's not nice. Say about the Ape Father. We cannot like somebody. We don't have to be ugly. Yes, we're going to squeeze during the crash. All right, here's how this works. I've showed y'all before. When the hedge funds have to start paying out and the government has to bail them out, it's not just going to be free money they're going to get. Uh like they have in the past, okay? The government's got it set up to where if you want cash, you have to park your shares over here, your Apple, your Microsoft, your Disney, and all that good shit. They park all of their shares over here in the government, new government clearinghouse that's going to be established, hopefully, April 11th. Once they park their shares, they receive the money that they need to pay us with, okay? They pay you. And then I get all kind of questions. Well, what if they don't use the money to pay? They have to use that money to pay their short positions out. That cannot happen until April 11th. So any YouTuber telling you something's supposed to happen before April 11th, great. I hope it does. But I'm not looking for it to happen until April 11th because they're not going to be able to pay you until april 11th he made a video about me tonight oh i know i got it. hold on oh the fuck on oh the fuck on hey father made a video about me and i know he's talking shit that motherfucker don't talk good about nobody All right, give me just a second, people. <laughs> I'm a sense investor. I don't bother nobody. <laughs> Well, I heard this one. That's where he's saying Elon Musk called him. But he was he was picking on Lou for that because Lou said 
GG called him. You war pity motherfucker, what you saying about me? Which one? I'm not going to sit here and listen to them, but that, that, hey, he finally got some good DD. It's a shame. I bet a father's a good person, too. But anyway, he's mocking me. Of course he is, a motherfucker. That guy doesn't deserve. Oh, I missed it. Can can everybody re be reassured this morning? We got 182 people in here. I appreciate it. Can y'all hit that uh, like button for me? Can everybody understand now? We want the squeeze to happen, but they don't have the money yet. It don't look like it. What goes into effect April 11th is supposed to be the NSCC 2021-10 clearinghouse for the government that they can uh, receive the shares from the hedge funds to give them the bailout money they're going to need to pay us. Well, J J A, don't let him play with your emotions. Stay here. Now you know. You can look forward to the squeeze, but I don't believe the squeeze is going to happen before they can implement the clearinghouse that can give them the money to pay us with. I mean, that's common sense. But I'll take it if it runs today. Craters in the trees. Here's why they can't do that. Because every time they sell another share, they go deeper in the fucking hole. The deeper they go in the hole, the more shares they have to transfer to the clearinghouse. The more shares they send to the clearinghouse, they're going broke. And BlackRock and Vanguard are going to end up buying all them fucking shares. It's actually a pretty brilliant scheme. They've set up the MOAS to happen. BlackRock and Vanguard and the rest of them. Supposedly, hypothetically, don't want to be sued like Keenan says. But they've taken long positions in AMC. Okay. So when the MOAS happens, and if they hold to a thousand like I think they will, and they sell their positions, they're going to end up with 20 billion new dollars from the hedge funds. Now, with that 20 extra billion fucking dollars they just got from the hedge fund due to the AMC MOAS, they will go over here and they will buy the shares from the, the, the new clearinghouse for pennies on the dollar. And then they will strengthen their positions in all the companies in America. Sell amounts you can't in, in a lot of brokerages you can't set so high of a of a sell amount. You have to wait till it in in e trade. I called them and asked them why I couldn't, and they said once it passed one thousand dollars, I could set a high price. But while it was still low, they wouldn't honor a high price. I don't see why they wouldn't. Sure. I mean, here's the thing. People start stressing out over and I'm I'm going to in relation to this. And the squeeze happened during the crash. Yes, I'm trying to. <laughs> I can't wait to get over there and see what the fuck a father had to say about me. I'll probably get a few more subscribers. I, don't, I can't watch the eight father when that motherfucker goes, ooh, ooh ah, I, I turn it off. I can't deal with it. <laughs> Did y'all see my video last night? Fidelity is pretty fucking deep into the Russian stocks, bonds, economy, currencies, and all that shit, too. Fidelity's in a couple billions in debt, too, over the Russian thing. 
yes, it's open for comments. I just got to figure out which one it is so that we can all go comment on it. Stock quits. Ask, is the April 11th rule still in for comments or will it go into effect on April 11th, 100%? Okay, it's still open for comments. It's open for comments until April 11th. And then it's supposed to do whatever it's supposed to do. A limit order. You don't you you ought to know, Bonnie. That's not even a question. You put a limit order in. You sell it to market. The market could be at 200 at one moment and 125 the next second, and then you lose out on that money. Five billion in debt. They're not going down. Hey, Michelle, by the way, good to see you this morning. Big banks going down. We've heard that before from Luke. They're not going down. Okay. They're going to have safeguards in place. One of them is the clearinghouse to keep them from going bankrupt. But it's what's going to happen once them shares hit the clearinghouse that I've always preached about. 500 a share. I think 500 a share is too cheap. Sure. All of them's got cheese. But when 4 million motherfuckers, good morning, Michelle. When 4 million motherfuckers, 8 million motherfuckers want their money, how much money does Fidelity actually have? Or JP Morgan, or Schwab, or Robin Hood, or Weeble. They're going to get the money to pay you by swapping out their long positions with the government as collateral for the money to pay you. Now, somebody's liable to make a video. <laughs> My not so common sense, huh, Brenda? I mean, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, it's just common sense. How can they have a squeeze without the money to pay you for the squeeze? You have to set the clearinghouse up first. Oh, yeah. If, if, let's go back here. Do you think Fidel will be affected by Black Rocket Vanguard absorbing the other funds? Shouldn't, because they're trying to absorb the smaller ones. And Fidelity is not a small one, so it shouldn't be too bad. They're controlling it to the end. He needs a Bud Ice now, Mexican Silverback. How do you need a Bud Ice? If you're in Mexico, we got to get our shit from you to smoke over here. You ought to be flying high right now. Everybody understand why? And, and, and Lynn, please, please, please don't leave here. And go tell other YouTubers I said it was supposed to squeeze April 11th. I said I don't believe it can squeeze until April 11th. I don't know about this plunge protection team. I, I think I, isn't that big ones or boss blunts one of them. And I don't follow all of their videos. I just catch them here and there. Smiley, you had a question, but I don't see it now. Right. James is saying, please tell people a to know that April 11th is the deadline. They must approve it or turn it down. That's right. April 11th is the nut cutting day. CSI's told you that. How does he figure that? Because I don't figure we can fucking squeeze without them having the money to pay us. No, 
Now this is different. March third. March third was an individual who believed that it would squeeze on that day or certain rules would be implemented and we see that they're not april 11th is the deadline according to the federal registry for this to either go into the law or get rid of it to turn it down just like james is saying that's why i, I Jonas, I'm not hyping dates, man. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to comment on certain fucking proposals and be ready. This can't happen until they have the money. And they can't have the money till April 11th. That's just my common sense. Now, if you don't agree with that, I don't know. Kick fucking rocks. I mean, I'm just, am I saying it's going to happen on April 11th? I say no. I don't think it can happen before that date. All right, we got 232 people. I appreciate y'all. Can y'all hit the like button for me? And if you're new here, subscribe. You've heard me just now talk about how or when can we get paid. That's the extra thing. Extra, extra, read all about it. Common Sense Investor says AMC was squeezed by April 11th. Oh, Jesus. I wish I could. I, this is a new computer. And I haven't had a chance to do a screenshot, but that's a screenshot right there, huh? CSI said April 11th. No, CSI said quit looking for the motherfucker till at least April 11th. People saying Frankie, is Frankie in the house? Is that Frankie Muhammad here? There he is. Frankie Muhammad. My boy. Frankie, I gave you a, a shout out. I don't know if you've seen the video where I, I shouted you out on your risk management video. I told everybody, look, I ain't no use with me repeating what fucking Frankie done said. Frankie done said it. So I don't get accused of trying to repeat what another YouTuber says. Y'all go watch Frankie. Frankie's a good dude. He's a smart dude. We back to blue, Frankie. Down here in Louisiana. And wasn't no use of me repeating what he taught about risk assessment and management. I just tell you, go listen to him. He got his shit together. It's not like I'm going to tell you, go watch Lou. <laughs> so, Frankie, I hope you was here to hear me talk about the April 11th. A lot of times it's not a lack of comprehension skills. It's just people wanting to start shit from above. Says that it's hard to believe anybody can misunderstand what the fuck I'm saying. That's plain and simple. The MOAS is going to happen April 11th. They can't pay you till April 11th. Yeah, I like old Frankie. I like Feel For Real. The fight videos are pretty good. Let's see what this one says. I don't want to get scooped by Angel. Due to liquidity issues stemming from restrictions placed on all Russian security, not just those impacted by recent sanctions, TD Ameritrade clearing agents neither buy nor sell orders on Russia. So I'm saying that uh, BlackRock, Vanguard, TD Ameritrade, all them big, big motherfuckers. You think they're not holding Russian stocks in their portfolios or the ruble? They got cut when when Putin invaded. That cut BlackRock. Now they ain't used to bleeding. <laughs> BBB wine. Let me check it out. What we doing? Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. AMZ going to move. One second.
1650. Yay, we're only down seven cents. You know, I used to watch these YouTubers back in the day. Y'all know who they are. But it like this would happen, and they would go to screaming, boom, boom, candles. Go, baby, go, baby, go. And I'm thinking, boom, boom, candles, shit. I'm down $16. That's not a boom, boom, candle. Boom, boom, candle will move my ass back up into the 30s where I could at least be even. <laughs> but it looks nice when these are going up. I think we'll have a positive day. I hope you have a positive day. Much love, Frankie. Oh, oh, Lord, the computer done went crazy. There we go. I wish I might buy 10% of AMC. <laughs> Which we could buy 10% of AMC if he would take some of that fucking profit money and buy 10% of AMC share buyback. It's not our brackets. It's your brackets. I don't understand that statement. Yes, it's going to be good for all meme stocks. If with BBBY running, like somebody mentioned earlier, that's in the IWM or IMW, whichever one it is. Anyway, it's going to cause that to go up. All I can tell you about my brackets is they're steadily going up with everything that I read. People would get mad. Oh, your brackets is too low. Well, I mean, that's set for what I believe the stock is going to do. But I'm thinking it's going to do a lot. I'm not going to sell a share. I'm not selling one fucking share less than 1,000. Probably 1400 And then it, that's just to get initial investment back. Then I'm going to wait for it to hit 25 I ain't heard no bell. I need to ring that motherfucker. Let's get this show started today. When this bitch runs, do y'all realize that every time it runs just a fucking 25 cents, they go to shit and they don't know if that's it or not. They don't. Listen, the hedge funds do not control this algorithm program. They shit when the stock starts rising because they think that's judgment day for them, too. Yeah, selling something in, the, I mean, as an investor. You have to understand, this is what Lou and them was getting at. You're not apes, you're investors. Well, investors look at percentage that you increase in your profits. For example, if it run up to $200, man, I might be 5,000% profit on that one transaction. So a retail investor would take that. An ape holds. <coughs> I used to, you say you used to think it was going to hit to 10,000. I used to, when I had lower amount of shares, I would have to go, okay, I need it to hit 50,000. If it hits 50,000, I can sell. And then 20,000, 25,000, then 12,000, then 8,000, then 5,000, the more shares I got. I think it's going to at least. I'm looking for a comment right here. And I'll do it real quick because we got 237 people here. They missed. Smiley guy says that he missed me explaining the April 11th situation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Everybody's waiting on the Moaz. What they don't understand is at the moment, if the MOAS happened right now, they would not have enough money to pay you and me. 
That's the simple fact. Now, they have a proposed rule in SCC 2021-10 that's in comments right now that we're encouraging people to go comment on and tell them, thank you, we need this. They will get the clearinghouse approved April 11th. After April 11th, once the clearinghouse is set up, they will begin moving shares from brokerage firms to the government clearinghouse. They will then take and give them money to pay all their debts in the squeeze. They cannot not do it. They have to use that money for that. So there's no way for you to be fucked. Everything else is fluffed. All that, all these fucking five videos a day trying to explain real and synthetic shares. I tried to do my best to help y'all understand that. That's all bullshit, people. You have a real share in your account. When you hit sell, boom, it's a real share. But it's not going to reach the numbers you're wanting to until at least April. They don't have the money. That's when they get the money. That's when they were supposed to get the money. That was before Russia. It could still happen now dealing with the Russian situation because BlackRock wasn't counting on that. All right, you got two more minutes and I'm going to say good night or good morning. I got to go walk next door and check on my dad, make sure he's wanting biscuits this morning. So I got biscuits and then I got to make sure he takes his shots. He's diabetic. But I just wanted to come out there, show y'all the beginning of this video. I talked about, go back and start watching it. Uh, AC Biggums and just like where I did a video on a proposed law that you needed to go comment on. AC Biggums has done one and he shows you which proposed law he believes you need to go comment on. I encourage you to go and comment on it. I have. As soon as I click off of this, I'm going to go send and it's going to be done. If they hear from a couple of hundred or a couple of thousands of people, it'll get done. I own several shares, Jonas. I'm not supposed to talk about how many shares I own. But I'll tell y'all as I sell them off when it happens. And it's going to be my intention to be sitting right here with y'all. All right, AMC went back down to 1640. No big deal. So that's the April 11th explanation. April 11th is when the clearinghouse should be up and running where they can receive the shares from the smaller brokers. Give them the money to pay us for the MOAS. Yeah, Daniel, I appreciate y'all too. And I love y'all. Time to get the day started. And I will be seeing y'all later in the day as things progress. And I get an idea of something else I want to share with y'all.